Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to the last candle review of the day. We are going to be chatting about the Homeworks Watermelon Margarita, which is also a part of the upcoming Homeworks Backyard Barbecue Collection, which is launching over at homeworks.shop this next week. I believe the release date is May 15th. Please don't quote me on that. Um, I, <laughs> I read the email yesterday and honestly, my brain cells, they're not working their best today. So, um, but I'm pretty sure it's the 15th. I'll put the correct information in the description box down below. I'll also put a link to where you'll be able to purchase uh, watermelon margarita and all of the fragrances from the Backyard Barbecue Collection. They are launching exclusively over at Dot Shop. So you can use my discount code Melanie P to save 15% off your purchase of $40 or more. Um, that is an affiliate discount code, by the way, so don't use that if you're not comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you'll be able to find these for the time being exclusively at homeworks.shop. I'm not sure if they're going to launch at QVC. I'm not sure if they're going to show up at other retailers like, um, Ulta. Um, and I'm also not sure if they're going to show up at the outlet retailers like Marshall's Home Goods, TJ Maxx. I feel like there have not been a lot of candles that have been showing up at those different outlet stores. Let me know what your experience is with that, but the ones in my area, now Oregon has never really received a lot of these um, homeworks candles at our, at least the stores in my particular area. We've definitely gotten a few here and there, but not the amounts that a lot of you guys have gotten who are maybe on the East Coast or more like in the Midwest. You seem to have a little bit better luck there with that, but. At any rate, this collection is launching next week. There are some very unique fragrances. I did review the Grilled Peaches, which I would highly encourage you to watch my review if you're interested in it, because much like the Watermelon Margarita, the Grilled Peaches smelled very different from Cold Sniff to Post Burn. Um, I will link that review in the description box. I'll also put a link to the first review of the day, which was of Bath & Body Works, Cherry Blossom and Soju. If you are looking for a fantastic uh, dupe of the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 fragrance in candle format, check out my review of Cherry Blossom and Soju. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's get into Watermelon Margarita. Okay, when I first received this one, you guys, I was blown away by how boozy it smelled on Cold Sniff. Um, I would say when I first stuck my nose into it after receiving it, I smelled, I would probably say like 90% tequila and maybe like 10% watermelon. <laughs> That was my cold sniff impression. And I gotta be totally honest, I don't really like boozy home fragrance type situations. Um, I don't actually love the smell of actual, um, you know, uh, alcoholic beverages. <laughs> um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a good like fruity cocktail, but when it comes to like just the straight up smell of like whiskey or tequila, or bourbon or any of you know those other alcoholic beverages or liquors if you will um, it's just it's not something that has ever really appealed to my nose so when I stuck my nose in this and got basically mostly tequila I was just thinking like oh my gosh am I even gonna be able to light this but I decided to go ahead and give it a chance and burn it inside you guys, it transformed and it's almost like the watermelon and the tequila kind of flip-flopped a little bit. Now here's the thing, if you are the type of person that loves a little bit of like a touch of booziness to your, you know, home fragrance, you are gonna get some of that in here. But it's not 90% tequila uh, post-burn like it was on the initial cold sniff. So. Let's read through the fragrance notes really quickly. We'll talk in depth a little bit more about those notes and then we'll move on to strength and throw and overall burn quality. Okay, so the notes read watermelon, blanco tequila, lemon, lime syrup, and sugar crystals. So yes, watermelon, honestly, once you light this bad boy up, watermelon is the predominant note. I will say, I think it smells like a much more authentic like fresh watermelon, um, like you maybe like scooped it out and popped it in your blender and blended it up. 
and like the that delicious like aroma of the pureed watermelon like that's what I get from the watermelon in here it's very authentic the tequila is present but again it takes second place to the watermelon once the flame actually hits the wax um, and I'm so pleasantly surprised by that now the tequila note smells like it has a place in this fragrance without overwhelming the fragrance um, I really actually like that little hint of tequila in here um, but I, I would be fine if this was all watermelon as well so just so we're clear <laughs> but I do like that little tiny touch of tequila now do I get that lemon lime syrup maybe just the tiniest bit but really the focus here is on that watermelon and the sugar crystals yes it is a sweeter fragrance for sure um, the watermelon is just naturally gonna have some sweetness to it I wouldn't say that it smells necessarily any sweeter than a perfectly ripe watermelon in the middle of summer would smell like um, it's not cloying I guess is what I should say it's a pleasant watermelon it smells authentic it blends really well into that tequila note with just that touch of like a lemon lime I, this is like a really great margarita scent you guys um, I typically prefer like regular margaritas or the lime margaritas when I order one at a Mexican restaurant but this kind of has me inspired to maybe try a watermelon margarita because if it tastes as good as this smells I'm definitely down all right in terms of strength and throw listen you guys I've had a pretty good solid medium experience with this one I would put the strength at a pretty solid I would say seven seven and a half it goes to a seven and a half when I have it in a hurricane but without just you know having it on a pedestal like I have here it performs perfectly fine um, the throw also a solid seven seven and a half um, with this one I think that's a pretty perfect number I mean I would take a little bit more obviously in terms of strength and throw here but also at the same time I think it's done really well the way that it is so if you are looking for a fun fruity like summer inspired boozy kind of drink to enjoy <laughs> um this is one that i would highly encourage you to pick up um i love this one uh compared to the grilled peaches which i'm a little bit more like meh about um this one here is a definite winner and i would absolutely recommend it now if you're at all sensitive to that tequila note skip it because you are going to smell it post burn but it's not nearly as intense as it is on cold sniff now, in terms of the overall burn, you guys, this one has been doing so well. I'm actually on the last burn right now, so I will give you an overhead shot here in a second, but I have had no problems with the wicks. They are the thinner um, wicks that you do have to kind of watch a little bit. They do want to lean. Um, I've had this burning for between three and four hours usually, and that has been plenty of time to get, you know, quite a bit of fragrance out of the candle and like nothing has happened in terms of sooting or wicks drowning or wicks keeling over or anything like that um, I've just had a really great clean burn and I got to give this candle like two thumbs up all around let me give you guys that overhead shot I did just light this right before coming upstairs to film this video we're in this location by the way because my roommates are home <laughs> so um, they're pretty noisy downstairs so all right you guys let's take a look at the overhead shot here and you'll be able to see that we are definitely on the last burn um i trimmed the wicks fairly short but this will pull out it's gonna do just fine um there's no discoloration no sooting the wax is the exact same color as it was from day one um this is just a really great example of a homeworks candle with a clean burn a wonderful unique fragrance and um decent strength and throw so i'm really pleased with this one i am thankful that homeworks sent it my way and um i would repurchase it i'm not going to repurchase it this year because i have plenty of homeworks summer candles from previous seasons that i'm going to try to finish but if this comes back next year, you will see me buying this again. It is fabulous. And if you're in the market, 
I definitely give it my stamp of approval. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I appreciate you being here for today's reviews. To all the mamas out there, happy Mother's Day. I hope you were spoiled rotten. And I will see you guys next week for some more home fragrance content. Subscribe if you're new, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo!